Hi, I'm Adele. Um, I work with Architectural Reclamation and we are working to preserve Keener Log Cabin. Uh, the damage that we're seeing primarily on the cabin is log deterioration, both from being exposed to the weather and from being in contact with the cement foundation. So this is a very historically accurate type of preservation. Um, that's what we specialize in is historic preservation, trying to keep things as historic as possible, keep as much original material as possible, and just keep the story of the building alive. Uh, we would preserve it by putting up siding on it. Um, I know that we see log cabins as romantic, but they would have wanted to live in a house, and putting up siding would also help protect from drafts coming between the logs. So right now, the step that we're doing is taking out the rotted material from around the bottom logs, trying to leave as much of the interior faces as possible, and replacing it with more masonry, but we're putting a pressure-treated plate between the masonry and the original logs to help prevent water infiltration happening again and further deteriorating the original logs. And then the next step will be to put up all of the corner boards and the trim pieces. And then we put up uh, furring strips to run a continuous plane so that when we put up the siding, it all lays flat. We'd noticed that there was a couple joists that were a little bit rocky, so we pulled up all of the floorboards. Um, there is a metal beam going down the center, which is really nice. It cuts the span in half. But there was a couple joists that either the ends had rotted or they weren't fully supported. So for one of them, we put a footer in to help support two of the ends of the joists. And then we also ran ledger boards underneath the joists along each wall tapped into the concrete so that even if something does start to shift or fall a little bit, there's something there to catch it. We're thinking it'll probably be about two more months. Uh, we're finishing up the masonry now and then we'll start getting everything ready to start running siding. It's gonna be bare poplar siding. Um, it's, it'll be nailed down along the bottom. So it'll be sort of light colored in the beginning and as time goes on, it'll weather out to more gray. Um, you'll still see the logs on the inside and we will be leaving the logs visible underneath the front porch so you'll still be able to see them from the outside as well.